know, it's. It, I just realized right as you were saying that that it's F Y Nature's Profit, not F Y Rubik. So I'm changing my answer. <laughs> it's. I, I'll call this for Ninja Jim. So. I mean, X Nova is still a, a fantastic Rubik player, but I just, I just wanted to see F Y Rubik. Man, that's is that so much to ask? You really should prepare for battle. I guess so. Yes, that is that is what that means. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, wait till the main stage. So both boards getting down very early under the smoke from LGD. Uh, I don't think mid was scouted, and definitely don't think the spot one was scouted. Which is an interesting one because it's less focused on the lane of the life stealer and more, I think, looking to spot the rotations of Soxa in the jungle. I had a terrarium once. He's like most this. likely well, going to start top and be and denying those range creeps, but pulling that lane back. But if he does look to rotate bottom, uh, LGD is going to have the vision to, cover to spot that out. I'm trying to talk about serious stuff like wards, and this fan comes at me with hats. Oh, they got the they got three runes. Oh, it's three three mid. They're doing the they're doing the liquid strat of we can we can just run all of our cores wherever we want. That's it. So Fod is back to the off lane. He was forever ago. And uh, 33 is playing in mid. Okay. Never intend to <laughs> I think. Oh, I was going to say bottom. Yeah. yeah they're, they're late swapping. They want, they want uh, Ame away from the Legion Commander, and so Nip's gonna just rotate this. Egg. They're running Fauna back across the map already. You gotta, you gotta secure those lanes. Gotta make sure you get the matchups you want. It's a. Uh, it, is being subjected to yeah, it's it's a trade. It's the trade-off you have to make. You <coughs> you you have to be able to get the ensure the matchups you want. And Legion Commander versus PA is definitely the preferable one because now you just spam up the waves with the overwhelming odds, constantly keep that harass up. Uh, she does already have the wand, the magic stick ready to go, so at least a little bit more ready to trade. But a magic stick only goes so far. And this uh, centaur up against life stealers, the other lane that they really wanted to ensure both of these lanes favoring an IP. The rune of illusion. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, this is. I would. It's going to be okay for maybe in the first couple of waves. He's putting a lot of good harass on with the. Uh, level two flight guard, but the problem is going to be as the levels come in for as we're going to get the buzz, as the levels come in for the bear. Once that level three root comes in, or level three bear, which gives you the root, uh, maybe he's going to have to be very careful because all of a sudden, at the turn of a heal, he can just die or at least get heavily pressured at a lane. He's got one salve and one tango left, and then thirty three actually had a regen, so maybe. Maybe actually putting on a lot of pressure in this mid lane. I almost feel bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Looking at the CS though, 
LGD is pulling ahead for now. Not a huge lead. 11 and 4 to the 5. Actually, it is kind of a huge lead because it's Saxa in the jungle who's got the top CS for, for Nip right now. Lifestealer and Legion, because of that huge amount of time that they had to spend running across the map, are only 5 and 3 CS respectively. Having a very, very tough time. Yeah, I didn't have the end game on. Um, <laughs> Got you, boo. Throwing out the ready already. Um, yeah, there's just no CS on them early. They're lacking on the levels, so the XP is way more in favor of DA, Rame, as well as uh, both. Well, the nature's popping in the Rubik root bottom. Nature's obviously can TP at any point in time, which he did. I uh, used the baseline TP, so. Yeah, it does. He's uh, just going to be pulling as well. Just mm -hmm. continuously getting that through. It's nine up on the Legion Commander. Have to see if Fada notices in time to be able to contest. And it looks like he his gamer senses were tickling. Mm -hmm. Well, no kills already, which is a big difference in comparison to our previous game that we casted yesterday. It seems like this will, this will be a little bit of a slower start. It's probably the Bounty Runes as well. We'll see our next contest when it comes to the next First Blood. Yeah, Nip's in this weird spot because they have this very... They have this team that wants to be pressuring early. But if LGD actually comes ahead in the laning phase, it's going to all of a sudden be very difficult for them. Maybe he's going to be putting a lot of pressure on. He's going to be able to rotate around the map. And they have a very good global game strat between the Nature's Prophet, the Centaur, and then the Ember Spirit can just show up out of nowhere and you don't expect it. So if Nip fall behind at this early laning stage, the recovery period for them, they have three pretty greedy cores and then a, a jungle Enigma as well. Like Sealer wants to go Midas Radiance. He's got the phase boots at least queued up. Uh, you're gonna actually he might not go minus rate this game because of the the bear. So they have a little bit of overlap there. I actually don't know how this is gonna go. Might be going the combat build then instead, because I feel like well I haven't I haven't really seen a build of a lone druid that's not the Radiance build, because the last time we had a build that wasn't the Lone Druid build was when he was like the weird combat right click build when his talents were like increase low and druid's physical like damage and not the more of the bear. bear. Yeah. yeah, it was sniper bear where he had like the 200 range talent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now it's 33. TP rotation coming in. Tree ring not available just yet. Now he's level 3 though, so they can sprout if they need it. There's the sprout up onto the high ground giving him vision. Looking for the Fade Bolt, but they don't need it. Well, they Fade Bolted already, but it was back off cooldown now. Nova will kill him first blow on 3-3. That's extremely good as well. No, they have Bear, actually, so he'll still be able to resummon Bear. Probably wants to get back to the lane to hit 5, though. First blood on Rubik, especially as a 5 position, is so value. You already you, you always are a hero that wants as many items as you can get. Actually, top lane, Vada. It looked like he was in a bit of trouble there, but be able to get away. He had the Quelling Blade as well if he needed to get out, although Ame is going back in. He will use the Shrine. Ame will be able to get out. No one, uh... It's nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Nobody really dying off on that one. Throwing up an aggressive Vision Ward up on the cliff there. Might have been scouted out, but... Not so much. Yeah. And now... 33 is level 5, so maybe he's going to have a much tougher time in mid lane. He's going to click down a lot, already burning through a bunch of his regen, down to half HP. Mm -hmm. And if the bear gets low, you just reset in the bear, or send it back to base, and then recall it, and don't have to worry about anything. So I think it is going to be your Radiance Bear, because... Um... Well, no, Life Sewer still goes usually face boots. I just usually you have them queuing up the Radiance already, but uh, six minutes in and still the highest, uh, higher. No, actually, it's 26, 26 still in the mid, so. So, yeah, it's not heavily contested. I didn't actually see all the bounty rune pickups, though. Got Ace has. 3 uh, 1. Okay. Yeah, Ace has recovered pretty well from the rotation. It looks like Legion Commander is still struggling pretty hard. 19 and 2. Uh, 29 and 11 
pulling ahead for the mid laners is Chalice. Chalice having a very good start to the game. It's mid, more action. Another attempt going out in the mid, but 3-3 will live it off for the time being. FY not getting picked off just, or 3-3 not getting picked off just yet, but just slowly being healed up by Fada. He's at no HP. If he gets clipped on by Nova, just two right clicks will do it. Finds the first click, but the bear comes in the body block. And Nova now rooted up as well. They're going to try and at least get the finish on kill Nova here. And Nova will go down and he will escape and won't be the same for Ember either. So they get two actually. Easy trades as well. That was a huge rotation. The ability to keep that Ember down. He was starting to snowball out control just a, just a little bit. And unfortunately he ran out of mana. That was, that was what ended up killing him. He had... 130 mana, he needed 20 more, and he would have been completely mm. uh, scot free out of there. This does leave PA alone top for the most part, oh. and actually down bottom, Chalice. Yeah, he goes down to a good old um, retaliate stack damage combo. The hoof stomp and double edge, plus Fateful from Nova as well. Lift into stomp into Fateful, double edge, all that good stuff. And now we do have Stampede Online, speaking of which being used to try and get Ame out in the top lane. Oh, the black hole is ready. They don't want to do it. He really wants to throw the black hole down. They drop yeah. the fear. There's no midnight pulse though, so they will block, drop the black hole at least. And they do find the kill. They didn't need midnight pulse. They're good to go. And they do find a return, actually not a return kill, 3-3, three, three, just clicks down Ember in the mid. And there's the, there's the tip. That's the threat, man. You get rooted once, and you just die. And because of the bloodstone on the bear, Ember's already a low armor hero. He's only got, it says 10 armor, but I think that was partly under tower. Actually, no, sorry, it does have two. So he's got 10 armor. Yeah, so it's 10. 10 flat. Not, not a whole lot to work with when you're getting clicked down by physical damage of the bear, as well as the lone druid, and then you have the root, which is also physical damage. Later on in the game, it's even it's going to be more annoying too, because the bear's going to be tanky. Yeah, he'll be a scary boy, so... We see that 3-3 is queuing up the Radiance. Yeah, he's just, just like so. that. Yeah, uh, Life Sewer might actually still be going for Midas, but this could also be the armlet. I want to think it's Armlet, but I wouldn't I've be seen, surprised uh, if they still end up going for the Midas anyway, and they go Midas Armlet, and yeah, then just I've seen the S and Y. Like Midas Armlet sometimes, if he doesn't go for the Radiance builds, it's just mm -hmm. the, the Midas Armlet to, uh... Oh, the first dual top is... Oh. Oh, not a win. Barely not going to get it. So, a little unfortunate, but it's a little bit hard to do with the Nature's Prophet as well. And Fada just with no base damage, actually, because just has phase boots. There's not really a lot of damage going out, and got literally no procs from what I saw. Yeah, I think he got like one or two. Mm hmm. They are gonna be looking to contest this room, LGD, bringing up maybe up in here as well. Since our stop, not gonna find anybody. They do throw down overwhelming odds, so they're not really gonna try to contest with this top room. Socks good trying to get out, but. Gonna be lifted back and just going down. Yeah, using the lone druid bear to grab the outer one. They still get three. I don't think it was really worth the Enigma trade off, but there was nothing they would have been able to do anyway. Jumping over to the net worth chart, though. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, 4.8 on the lone druid. Still leading, absolutely dominating this mid lane as well as with three kills and only one death. One assist as well. Life. The real problem is, if you look at where the Ember Spirit is, he's below both his offlaner and his and the enemy position for support. He's, mm. uh, he's ahead of at least the enemy offlaner, but Chalice has Duel. Out onto the top lane here, it's not going to be able to find a kill, really just holding him over to try and confirm it. They are going to burst him down. Can they find the last right click? The net's actually going to miss because... Ah, oh, they get him. PPD drops the good old Q and drops the fear as well. Out goes his ultimate to try and get the confirmed kill on FY. Armor is going to be stolen and Nova will be able to escape with it. Very good steal. One of the better ones from which obviously you probably would have preferred the ult, but Frost Shield's still a pretty good one. Minus yeah, now. Uh, I mean, in that moment, you'd probably rather have the Shane Frost, but I think overall that's one of the better abilities you can steal this game. 
just because of the, the crazy amount of physical damage that's coming in. Uh, that is one thing that we didn't really mention was how kind of one-dimensional Nip's damage output actually is. If you look at it, other than Soxa really and the Radiance Burn, it's all physical damage for Ninja's pajamas. So that, that Frost Shield is a lot of work. Hmm. FY in a bit of trouble now in the back lines. Duel goes through. Do they have enough? They're, they're just not having enough damage to get these kills on the duels, but they are going to find the kill on FY at least. They do have the doll, oh, the beautiful fear with the centaur old still bursting through. We'll be able to repel that one. Saksuka coming in. He does have black hole available. He wants to at least get the centaur, but he's not going to get him to. They only just get Nova. The, the big key there was that he didn't give the black hole to Rubik. That's that was the key. It was if I'm dropping this, I need to get X Nova in this. If I get Chalice, awesome, cool. We can maybe follow up for another kill. But the big thing is, don't let Rubik get this steal. Mm. So, pretty good on that one. Oh, 10 and three now. So NIP with the first 10k. I know a lot of people like talking about. Hang on, I just went to the PA. I saw Battle Fury. What's going on here? Yeah, man, you need you need us, man. You need to recover from you. You re at this point, Ame is relying on scaling up into the late game. You any early game momentum that you were starting to gather when I was saying that they were going to their lands has since faltered. And right now, you are relying on Chalice to make you a bunch of space and Ember to make you. Uh, to just be a distraction, basically. Ame wants to AFK free farm and come out of the jungle in like 15, 20 minutes with Battle Fury, Deso, BKB. Until that happens, I don't think we'll be seeing much of Ame. Maybe the occasional show up to a fight near the tower. And that's pretty well there. Bottom. Chalice. Yeah, he's getting dueled. This might be the... Nah. They're not going to get the first one. They drop the stun. The fear's going to be there, and Chalice will be going down. He didn't have his ultimate available, so... Not really able to get out of that one. Saksuka. Yeah, Frost Shield steal pretty good. Saksuka up in the top lane trying to get out. You will be fine. There's no follow-up stuns available. Obviously, there's no there's no bash on Ami immediately. They do want to get this Dominator unit, though. A lot of gold, 200. And Ami will uh, clean that up. Mid lane, though, they are going to lose the tower for this. <laughs> this is the power of the bear, man. You just anytime you commit more than two or three heroes, the bear's gonna go to work. And there's a DD in bot lane, actually. If they want to swing that onto uh, 33, and never mind. I was gonna say if they want to swing that on 33, maybe they take that bottom tower. But it seems like Ace is perfectly content just farming, and it is gonna be the Midas arm left. So Midas armlet. What do you think afterwards then? Go for the S and Y build because he's not going to go for the Radiance. Just go for the Battle Man build. Probably. I think it's it's usually S and Y, right? Yeah, S and Y, or I mean, maybe you could get like a early Basher. Go for go real old school and just get a Deso. But again, that's relying I think a lot on the physical damage. They don't know how they bump up their. I mean, if you're going for all physical, you might as well just go in for it. Go, go for the Tesla race. I believe in you. Mm hmm. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually goes for that. That that's not actually that bad of an item. But uh, now three three with the radiance online. Where is the bear? Is it in the base? Yeah, it's in the base. Okay. Walking up to the top lane, getting ready to uh, maybe get... Yeah, there's nothing they can really do. They force a fortification, which will just. Do the nice little split shots now. But, uh, they're not really going to be able to defend it for too much longer. 3-3 coming in ever so slowly since he actually has no boots still. Uh, LG's just going for a trade, but it's tough because now you have a, a Radiant Spare to just pull your free wave, start cutting it, the split push begins. Hmm. Rats, we are the rats. Yeah, 3-3 just... Yeah, they're not going to be able to trade the tower, actually, because it'll be on backdoor pretty soon here. And there it is. So it's on backdoor now. They can't defend it. And 3-3 about to claim the second set of creep wave as well. Yeah, and they have and really good vision for this, too. They have vision of the shrine back here. They have vision of bottom, so they, they see three heroes. So they're like, okay, we'll just put fire out a little bit. Now, other than uh, Ame showing mid, they don't have just a whole lot of uh, info. So back up. 
PPD. Uh, he'll be perfectly fine. They dropped the ultimate, but the fear goes out, so we'll push back. The Centaur, and now NIP, they're actually aggressing towards the mid tower, and they'll rotate out from this one now that they don't have the Centaur ult available. Very defensive, they do drop the duel out onto Rubik, and this will be the first duel that will yield damage, but LC doesn't really, it's not really the dual damage in this game that the LC is in here for. No, this is, this is locked down as LC, and that's why I think Otto's just been throwing it out regardless. Every every time he's thrown a duel, it hasn't been a duel win, but it has been a kill, right? Right now, they're basically just using it as a four and a half second stun, or sorry, four seconds, it's still a little one. Mm -hmm. But a four second single target stun is still a lot of, a lot of good, and they're taking this, they're shredding this stun. Oh, good fear time as well, so not going to end up getting the stun, they'll get the tower, and Maybe go for the top shrine and then just rotate out. Meanwhile, yeah. Ame still doesn't even have this battle fury yet, so not ready to even really start power farming, let alone be able to join these fights. Mm hmm. We'll just have to keep on farming away, so. I mean, he'll have Battle Fury, but I don't know if it'll be in time for them to recover this game. 3-3 is just running over this game, as well as the fact that Life Sealer Ace is running at 9.5 in the top net worth. Sitting on 2,600 pocket gold. The, the big problem this game for LGD was just how hard uh, maybe got shut down. He, he had a pretty good start, but he ended up dying solo to 33 all the time, and since then he hasn't really been able mm -hmm. to recover or do much about it. This just massive amount of pressure Yeah, they're about to claim the second tier 3 tower up on the top lane. They throw down the Sprout and the Fear will be there. So 3 3 still chipping away at this tower. The Bear's stunned up though, taking a lot of damage. No Fear available for it this time. But he'll be fine. And they do manage to find the solo kill on Chalice as well. Just stuck in the, uh, stuck in the old Midnight Pulse there. They, they're gonna leave on that one. They got an easy kill. They're gonna heal up the bear and actually no, they're not leaving. They're re-engaging. They still have black hole as well. Yeah, there's no stampede. There's no centaur. There's nobody tanky to really threaten any of the Nips lineup, any of the Nips heroes. And look at PPD. He's just sat in the back. Doesn't have to worry about really doing anything. And that's a, that's a 18 minute mm. barracks. Full lane. Yeah, 18 minute racks. The bear's just... 3 3 is just so farmed, and the bear is so scary. This is this is legitimately just the power of a lone druid who got. I don't want to say completely uncontested because he still did die once in the mid, but basically was uncontested. He died once, and then after that, it was it, it spiraled downhill, almost like a normal meepo draft, actually. <laughs> this is you asked why they banned the meepo, man. It's it's cheese heroes like this. It it throws throws a wrench in what LGD wants to do, right? LGD is very good at your stock standard Dota, but, you know, you, you think back to TIE, OG didn't play stock standard Dota. They threw weird, wacky traps at them, and that's how they ended up winning. Nip, mm -hmm. not saying that necessarily weird and wacky. It's, it's a very good, solid draft from from Peter, but the, the Lone Druid just throws a complete curveball in everything that LGD wanted to do. You've got this Rubik and Nature's Prophet support duo. They want to be playing aggressively. They're not good defensive supports. Bear finding the root out on Chalice in the back line. PPD getting pretty low. Has his ultimate available. Goes it out. Black hole goes down and they find two. The ult's not going to save him. Black hole stolen. This is actually a good huge stolen black hole, but they don't have a lot of damage to back this up. They do find the kill in the courier. PPD goes down as well as Soxka. But still, Nova goes down. It was still a really good black hole, though. Pretty scary, but still not going to continue off of that. Really good black hole steal, though. That actually is... I don't want to say the fight that they needed, but it was part of the fight that they needed to find a slight recovery into that. It's, the cores are all alive. It's a start, basically. Right? You're, you're trading two for two when you're behind. Obviously, you'd rather trade two supports for two cores. But FY lives through that, so he is able to get a bunch of experience. He was level 8 before that fight, he's level 11 now. He's got, uh, he already had the Spear Vessel during that fight, uh, so now he's going to move towards the fight. He's building a couple of the magic items so that uh, Chalice can focus on getting that Blink Dagger, and he adds Crimson Cards over the line. Uh, and most importantly, you know, maybe got some, some fun. 
he, he really needed it. He's struggling a lot. He's got, he had his most for that fight, but now he's working towards his heroes. So he doesn't have to be as scared of the bear. And unfortunately, uh, Ninja's pajamas have taken the rush and put it on the Ace Life Stealer. So they have a Life Stealer and a bear that can just run up and safely take another later max. And that he drums him down to the mid lane. They find the fear immediately out of the PA in the duel. And confirm another duel, but again, not really the point. They find the kill on the PA, and now they're just going to walk straight down. Yeah, like you said, they're going to start claiming the barracks. They have a fortification available, but I don't think it's going to really save them here. Steel Rage, not, not a great spell that will help them out here. Ace now also clicking away. Rage activated as well. They're just they're clicking away on these barracks. The Crimson Guard slowing it down, but just not slowing it enough. They really want to defend these barracks, actually. Holy moly. Oh, no. Okay, well. Yeah. NIP will claim the second set of racks at 22 minutes in. 9k net worth lead, and they're just going to leave off of that one. It's going to be a long... If LG is able to, uh, to recover this game, it's going to be a long road for them. Two, two lanes barracks down at 20 minutes. Okay, net worth lead. And However, there are <laughs> there's still a tier one and a tier two stuck down in this uh, LGD bot lane, so they got uh, they got a lot of work if they want to go for a full clear. But I imagine that's next on their to do list. And uh, this this really just comes down to you know I'll make oh. to have a bad game or maybe you can afford to have a bad game. But three three, just chasing Fy down here, waiting for the lucky root. Still hasn't gotten the root, actually, but... Okay, well, there's the root, but uh, now with the bear on the outside, he couldn't get the TP off with the root, so he's dead. Yeah. He got the root right at... It was actually the perfectly timed root. It was right as the strike came in, but he couldn't TP out because of the root. <laughs> mm-hmm. So... Well, I will go down. But, as I, like I was saying, I'll make it afford to have a bad game, or maybe you can afford to have a bad game, but when you have both... You're trying to do this recover farm thing. PA is taking a lot of space, and PA takes a lot of time to come online as a hero. It would appear so, Ami, who's kind of relying on maybe to, to make that space for him, make it safe for him to go for this Battle Fury build. Once once Ami gets this, you know, Desto timing, maybe that PKB timing, if they get that long, he's gonna, he's gonna be a threat. He's gonna be a strong hero that can threaten Bear, threaten Life Stealer. Until that time, they don't have the hero that it allows maybe to oh. that sit behind. Oh, they spot smoke. NIP dropped the scan. They know they're behind, but it's not going to save them, though. They do get PPD pretty low, but the fear is going to hold them over. Chalice will get the confirm. The Chalice will fall to PPD, pardon. Duel as well. They find Nature's Prophet in the back line. He'll be clicked down as well. They find two. No buyback on either of these two heroes. And Bear's going to TP away to heal up. Malphite stolen by X Nova. That's not the worst. It's not the worst. Actually, it is the worst Enigma spell to take. Not necessarily. No, actually, Eidolons are pretty bad still too. It's it's a non-lift spell that cancels black hole. There's so many PPD mm -hmm. in so it's just something that can cancel black hole that just kind of steal it. But oh, boy, NIP taking the last set of racks at 25 minutes in. 19 515k net worth lead. NIP, they're just running over this game with this bear. Lone Druid having a wonderful game. Well, they are looking for re engagement here. And they just can't quite find the right route. The Searing Chains. Black Hole's still available as well if they want to try and find a return fight, but they want to know where the Rubik is before anything else, and he's off on the sidelines here, and well, Chalice just gets bursted down. Right clicked away. Duel goes out, and will be PA jumping in there, but it won't change anything, because the shield goes out at the right time. PPD getting a double, helping with the double kill. Ace confirming it, and now they're looking for the kill on PA. Well, the Black Hole's not going to land. <laughs> and there's the tips as well. And now they're looking for the root, but Oh, when did they announce the GG? I didn't see it. They, they called it GG after, maybe called it after we died. Ah. That's, that's why they dropped the black hole. Oh, okay. I